Hello guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and this video is specially for the people who want to do freelancing projects as a software tester or they want to work as a part time or probably want to do some work from home as a software QA. So let's get started. All right, guys, this is Pramod. And uh, so I've been like uh, previously whenever I get time. So I used to work some on a freelancing websites. So today I will be showing you. Uh, I will be showing you guys more than eleven websites which where you can work as a software tester and basically do the freelancing work. Work, guys. Freelancing is, uh, as far as my experience con is concerned, it's uh, freelancing is easy, but uh, to get the project, it's not easy. Means uh, the process of getting the project is a uh, little bit tough, but the work that you want uh, will do, especially on those. Uh, as a software QA, uh, certain manual work or sometimes at automation work, it's very easy, I would say. So I'm going to give you some uh, websites, especially I would suggest you to note it down. And I'm going to give you my two websites where I used to work right now. And I do sometimes work whenever I get the free time, but uh, you can make some extra bucks, uh, especially if you're doing a certain kind of job side by side, or you want to do certain part time, or probably you're a uh, uh, anyone who who is uh, who want to do a certain kind of work from home something like this uh, as a software QA this video is for especially for you guys all right so let's uh, come to my mind map and this is a, basically in the nine websites that i want to talk about the first one is my favorite it's one of the great, great platform right now lots of projects it's called digimonte uh, digimonte is a uk based it's united kingdom based website where they will basically pay, give you a payout in gb which is pound and which is great for especially for Asian countries like India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh, where you will get the good conversion rate, right? Yes. So, uh, Digimonte, I used to work here, and the projects are good, and there's like lots of manual testing tasks. Uh, these are very simple tasks most of the time. Though there were like uh, certain e commerce stores which basically have certain bugs in their checkout flow, or sometimes or uh, UI bugs, certain kind of things, or they want to do certain cross browser uh, testing. You can leverage that so i'm going to show you uh, this platform after that so i'm going to before that i will uh, let me give a certain uh, uh the, let me go through the full list first you test another great platform i have worked it uh, they pay very much uh, if you are getting the projects in utest uh, i have seen people going full time especially for utest uh, because the projects are very good long term projects are there in utest and but the process of getting a pro uh, project on utest is very very tough guys Another interesting site is Upwork and Freelancing, which is like a normal website for any kind of freelancer that you have seen. Uh, I would say that uh, Upwork and Freelancing or Freelancer, sorry, I mean to say Freelancer.10 or Freelancer website. Sometimes it's called as Elancer, I, say, uh, I believe. Yeah, but these websites are very, very tough right now. Guys. If you are watching this video, especially in 2019 or 20, probably this feed, uh, they, these websites are very tough to get projects. And if you, even if you are a good tester, if you don't have a profile, especially, uh, the profile, uh, created, uh, like two or three years back, then it's good. But if you are creating a new profile, especially these for this website, like Upwork, Freelancing, Toptal and Guru.com, you're going to get some serious competition. I, I'm not saying that you will not able to uh, perform good, but yeah. Uh, be ready for some great competition all right and 99test.com uh, is another interesting one but i won't recommend because so uh, payouts are very much less in 99 uh, test test uh, i have tried few of the projects and payout is very very much less means it's like cheapest uh, of all of them uh, qnr and passbrain passbrain is another good one and my one of my friend was working as pa uh, like uh, when whenever when he had like uh, some kind of free time he used to work as a pass uh, pass brain and uh, he uh, he was getting a good amount of money a uh, decent amount of money especially per month so uh, pass brain was uh, was uh, like one of the great one also so these are like websites with where you can go to and google just google them and try it out uh, if you wanted to go i would suggest you to go with digimonte and utest and if you want to try it out go with pass brain or 99 test if at the last all right and this is another interesting list uh let me zoom zoom it uh where you can uh try it out your luck these are websites like ablos test test birds these this may be a list uh you can say the list is 
list can be a little bit old but you get the point like bug finders is basically rg1 tape pass brain is an interesting one that i uh, totally recommend uh, 99 test again i won't recommend much uber testers is another good website but i haven't worked on them so i don't know much about it uh, i uh, if you go with my words i would totally recommend you to dg1 tape and you test all right so let let me uh, go through a little bit about the dg1 tape so uh, this is my profile one of my profile and i made more than like nearly 130 gbp last uh, probably a few months i guess and uh, uh, i am not working right now actively on this uh, profile right now because uh, this this was my very old profile where i used to work so to get into g1a uh, the debug finder i would tell so what you need to do is that you need to do first uh, a sandbox environment where they will give you one website and you need to uh approve five bugs which are very easy to say i must say it's a eco chroma uh, platform and you you will find little bit bugs around there anyway if you are a beginner then definitely you can uh, even a beginner uh, i would say can find those five bugs and try out uh, and after that uh, that profile is approved he can go with like a uh, 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 pay paid products i mean to say projects yes so uh, there are like some security testing projects also but uh, i haven't tried it out but uh, definitely in the future i will try all right so this is uh, this is utest it's a great platform and i would totally recommend you to create an account here it's it has great community and lots of uh, i would say projects and cycles are going on they pay you high i would totally say that but uh, project getting projects is very difficult all right 99 test is another interesting one uh, i have recently created a profile but uh, my pro i have uh, used to work with my uh, used to use my one of my uh, friends email id but the payouts are very very much less guys uh, i won't recommend much of it but uh, yeah but uh, the top testers especially the active testers are getting good amount of money and they are basically most of the testers are the the way working here in 99 test are you can say uh, are freelancers uh, freelancing website uh, freelancing software testers so if you are good at uh, software testing especially finding the bugs uh, and if you want to do work as a part time or full time definitely go with 99 test also all right and uh, upwork is another one and uh, upwork is tough i would say getting projects is very very difficult but the long term projects are pretty much there so if you ever uh, if you are able to find certain good projects on upwork definitely go with it and Uh, you will find a long term projects like 6 months 7 months projects which will definitely give you an edge and if you are working as a freelancer for uh, work from home or you can say full time definitely go with upwork or freelancing.com all right so that's all uh, all about it and in the next upcoming video i will try to give you more details about the digivant platform because i believe it's a good platform if anyone wants to do freelancing especially as a qa and if even if on weekends you can make mm, nearly around 4 to 5000 as indian rupees especially on weekends by doing two or three projects means less than probably three or four hours of works and you you are getting paid enough which is which is okay right and if you want to do full time and how to uh, you want to get more serious about it again if it's up to you guys it's up to your potential if you can go with it all right so th uh, that's all 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 about it and uh, let me open up my thanks thanks thank you slide yeah so thanks for watching and especially if you have uh, got some value from it just don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, if you have any con uh, if you have any question regarding this uh, means how do i uh, anything related to it just contact me at contact at the rate testing academy dot com and definitely reply and if you have any kind of question just uh, comment down below definitely going to reply to every kind of comment any silly question that you have asked to me all right so thanks a lot and see you in the next video this is your host pramod and have a nice day happy testing guys bye